Hi, I'm Espen Croft, and this, this is the Roland Alpha Juno 2 from around 1985. And it's one of the most underrated analog Roland synths ever. And I use this on almost every song I make. Long overdue, today is the day I take you on a tour of one of my favorite synths ever. For my sound. The winter of 1985, Roland announced the two new Junos. The 4 octave Juno 1 and the 5 octave Juno 2. Both excellent keyboards and I still use my Juno 2 as a master keyboard. But remember, at this time, the uh, Yamaha DX line uh, ruled the world and people were temporarily tired of analog synths. Moog had gone out of business and Sequential and Oberheim were barely hanging on and they soon went bust as well. But Roland had survived by making these cheaper analog synths with the Juno 6, 60 and 106 before it. The Alpha Junos were different than any of those. And the top of the line back then, the uh, JX 8P and the Super JX, had nothing on the new oscillators offered by the Alpha Junos, because the, the new uh, oscillators of the Juno series offered 14 basic waveforms, and that includes pulse width modulation of both the pulse and the sawtooth waves. It has had uh, six sub oscillators and you can even mix in some noise and all of these could be used at the same time but because the uh, new waveforms were harmonically complex you could have a new set of sounds that was never heard before in a Roland synth at the time and in addition to that the Alpha Junos also had an analog VCF but unfortunately they were unable to self-oscillate so some of the traditional Juno sounds were impossible on the Alpha Juno. And uh, it has 64 plus 64 memory banks. Uh, it has a preset bank of 64 sounds and it has a memory bank of 64 sounds. And those you can edit yourself and store. So if you want to change the mod rate, the mod depth, or brilliance, or envelope time, you can do that very easily from the front panel without going into the menu system. You have chord memory by holding the chord memory button down while you press the right button. You can then enter in any chord on the keyboard as you like. It says right chord. The C chord is completed. And now I'm pressing the chord button. You have Octave Transpose and Polyphonic Portamento.
And so let's take a look at the basic editing, and that means using the alpha jog wheel. I find this very easy, very fast, and I love the alpha Juno jog wheel. So how about the waveforms then? Well, we have three pulses, one of them with pulse width modulation. We have five saws with one of those, even with pulse width modulation. And we have six sub oscillators. Uh, two of them are pitched down over two octaves. And like the uh, Brethren 660 and 106 before it, it's possible to mix the pulse, the saw, the sub and the noise at the same time to create your lush sounds. And it's written on the synth itself. You can see the waveforms. You have the pulses, the saws and the sub. And you can also see the new envelope contour written at the right there. And to go into the menu system, you press the parameter select button at the left there, and then you can use the alpha jog wheel to just run through all the different parameters on the synth. So let's have a look and listen to the waveforms then.
Well, the time has come to uh, round this off and I thank you for watching this little video on the Roland Alpha Juno series. I think it's a very underrated synth and it's capable of creating the most wonderful sound, so I highly recommend you check one out. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.